Chang Group presents TCG News, a monthly review of the Southwest Florida real estate market. And now your host, Dwayne Salt. Hello and welcome to the November edition of TCG News, a monthly review of the previous month's top real estate stories in Southwest Florida. Our lead story for October is home prices. If you're looking to purchase a home in Florida, one of the cities you should consider is Lehigh Acres. That's because Caldwell Banker Real Estate just released its annual report, which compares some 1,900 real estate markets across the United States. The company's data revealed that, in the state of Florida, Lehigh Acres is the second cheapest place to buy a four-bedroom, two-bath home. According to them, the average price of a 4-2 in Lehigh is $111,410. By the way, nationwide, Lehigh Acres came in 20th cheapest overall. If you're curious as to what city was the number one cheapest place to buy in Florida, well, from Fort Myers, travel about 50 miles to the northeast. That's where you'll find the town of Arcadia, where a four-bedroom, two-bath home is priced at around $108,000. Of course, the Cold War Banker Report compared only four-bedroom, two-bath homes. The fact is, three-bedroom, two-bath homes in Lehigh Acres are priced way under $111,000. Here are a few examples. This three-bedroom, two-bath home, built in 2005, has 1,357 square feet under air and 2,105 total square feet. It is priced at $89,900. This three-bedroom, two-bath home, built in 2006, has 1,410 square feet under air and 2,128 total square feet. It is also priced at $89.9. And finally, this classic two-bedroom plus Dan two-bath home, built in 1958, has 1,430 square feet of total living area and 1,514 total square feet. The lot, get this, is 100 feet wide and 200 feet deep. This home is priced at just $74,900. For those of us who live here in Southwest Florida, it comes as no surprise that Lehigh Acres would rank as one of the best places in the state to buy a quality home at a low price. So we asked Jacqueline Chang, the founder and owner of the Chang Group, a Fort Mars-based real estate investment firm, why homes are so inexpensive in Lehigh. That was one of the key areas for the boom back in the 2000 to 2007 era. So open land, paradise, let's build it, they will come. So we can now reap the benefits of the inventory that's left over from the boom. Where else do we already have so many pre-existing homes of really good quality at a reasonable price with mortgage interest rates no more than 4.1 to 4.5 percent in um, a, an economy that's actually stabilizing. That was Jacqueline Chang, the founder and owner of the Chang Group. Every couple of months we like to review the median home price in Lee County. According to the Realtor Association of Greater Fort Myers and the Beach, the median home price for an existing single-family home is $165,000. That's up some 27% from a year ago. As for the median price of a condo, it's at $146,515. That's up 22% when compared to a year ago at this time. The number of foreclosure lawsuits filed in Lee County rose slightly last month. According to the Southwest Florida Real Estate Investors Association, 259 foreclosure lawsuits were filed last month. That compares to 239 in September. However, in October of 2012, 686 foreclosure lawsuits were filed in Lee County. So the 259 last month was a drop of 62% when comparing year to year. The number of single-family home permits pulled in Lee County was up in October. According to a report in the Fort Myers News Press, 188 permits were issued last month. That compares to 172 in September, or an increase of around 
Back in August, we reported that a Cape Coral home sold for $5.2 million. That's the reported most expensive home ever sold in the Cape. Well, a home in South Fort Myers just topped that. The mansion, located on Shadley Lane and offering views of the Caloosahatchee River, recently sold for $5,750,000. According to the Fort Myers News Press, that's the highest price paid in the city for a single-family home in the past 10 years. By the way, the home is around 14,000 square feet, and from what we can tell from this image from Google Earth, it has a circular drive, a porte cochere, tennis court, massive resort-style pool, and a very, very long pier that extends out in the river. Not a bad little pad. In the same news press article, the paper had a few other interesting facts I'd like to share. In Lee County, 41 homes priced at $2 million or more have sold so far this year. That's up from 34 homes for the same time period last year, or a jump of 21%. In Collier County, which is more expensive, 148 homes priced at $3 million or more have sold. That compares to 97 homes for the same period last year, or a jump of 53%. Hertz has a tentative date to start clearing its land for the new worldwide headquarters in Estero. According to the company, that date is November 26th, but it comes with an asterisk. As you'll recall, Hertz purchased a 34-acre parcel at the intersection of US 41 and Williams Road in Estero earlier this year, on which they plan to build several buildings, including a three-story main building and a four-story parking garage. Now for that asterisk. Hertz still needs to present its architectural plans to the Estero Community Planning Committee before November 26th. If the plans are approved, then the land clearing will begin. Actual vertical construction is scheduled to begin in February with a December 2015 completion date. The Hertz Corporation's move to Estero is expected to bring some 700 high-paying jobs to the area. Every month, we tour a for-sale home in southwest Florida. In August, we toured a two-bedroom, two-bath home located in a 55-plus community in Lehigh Acres. This month, we're going to tour a similar property, but located in a different neighborhood. The single-car driveway is the perfect length, since a car can pull within steps of the building. From the front door, you enter the Great Room, the combination living and dining areas. The entire carpeted space measures 22 feet long and 13 feet wide and has a 7 foot wide window overlooking the front yard. About two thirds of the great room is really the living area. The far one third is the dining area which is highlighted by a hanging decorative light. Around the corner is the kitchen. It measures 10 by 9 feet and has a small eat-in breakfast area. A door in the kitchen leads out to a small side yard patio. Back in the great room, a 13 foot long hallway leads to the two baths, a second kitchen entrance, the two bedrooms, and a utility closet with a space for a stacked washer and dryer. The bath closest to the great room features a single vanity with shell shaped sink and a tub shower combination with light blue tile. The first bedroom, located in the back of the home, measures 14 feet by 11 feet. The second bedroom, also located in the back, measures 12 feet by 10 feet. The second bath is positioned near the entrances to the two bedrooms. The Tangerine Court neighborhood in Orange Grove Park has its own amenity area, which includes two shuffleboard courts, picnic tables, and a barbecue grill. Behind me, this entire newscast has been an image that was taken at the Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve in Southwell Myers. Let's take a look at that preserve as seen through the eyes of one of our videographers and edited by Veronica Suarez.
this day, when everything seems to move at the speed of light, it's nice to know there are places one can go to move at the speed of nature. Well, that's our newscast covering the month of October. We'll be back in early December to review the headlines that occurred in November. Thanks for watching, and from everyone at the Chang Group and the staff at TCG News, have a great month. Thank you.